former athlete for Umbel ISD filing a lawsuit against the school district claiming sexual harassment and unwanted sexual contact. KPRC 2's Devin Clark has been reading through the court documents and is live tonight just outside of the district's headquarters to break down all of those details. Devin? Yeah, those allegations are listed in a 13 page lawsuit. They include a history of ongoing public molestation and sexual harassment that was no secret to other employees who worked here. The lawsuit begins with current Humble ISD board president Robert Scarfo being accused of inappropriate conduct and sexual misconduct. Details include claims he continually showed up to campuses unannounced, demanding meetings and dinner dates with staff. The lawsuit also claims he inappropriately touched male and female employees and would at times retaliate by threatening their jobs when there was pushback. Such are the claims by Troy Kite, the former Humble ISD athletic director who filed the lawsuit. Kite stated that since 2019, Scarfo had been inappropriately and sexually touching him and had made multiple provocative comments during school-related events, like graduations and football games. Kite alleges Scarfo would do this in front of other employees, and there was even a running joke that Scarfo was Kite's boyfriend. Kite said that at first he was concerned about speaking out because of fear of retaliation. It said that after Kite found the strength to file for protection, he began to have his job threatened. The lawsuit lists several other board members as co-defendants, Mike Rabowski, Ken Kirchhofer, and Chris Parker, who allegedly colluded with Scarfo to intimidate Kite and threaten his employment. Kite said that he was placed on administrative leave even though proper protocol wasn't carried out. Kite said he was told to resign or be terminated. He ended up leaving Humble ISD. Kite states his wife, who was also an Humble ISD employee, received threats of termination as well and is in talks about severing ties with the district. Kite is seeking damages between $250,000 and $1 million. We reached out to Umbel ISD for comment, and we were told that the district does not comment on pending litigation. We also reached out to Kite and his lawyer for comment, but so far have not heard back. Reporting live outside of Umbel ISD, Devin Clark, KPRC2 News. Staying on top of it for us, Devin, thank you.